Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala asrofil anbiya wa mursalin sayyidina wa maulana Muhammadin amma ba'd. Good morning ladies and gentlemen and also my dearest friends. Thank you for the time and the opportunity that have been given to me this morning to talk about a very important topic. First of all, let us pray gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we can gather at this very good moment in a healthy condition. Salawat and salam always devoted to our great prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that have brought us from the darkness into the brightness. Dear friends, who are the most important people in your life? Who are the people that you love the most in this world? To me, those people are my parents. I'm so grateful to be born into my family. To have my dad, mom, who love me. I don't know how much their effort to my life. We as a human, child in this world should have parents. No human being is born without a parent. Our mother put her life to death for delivering us. Our father participated in helping our mother. Our parents have taken ways for all their children to live well. In this short time, Allow me to convey the importance of devotion to good parents. As a child, maybe we often feel annoyed with our parents. Maybe we think that our parents do not understand what we want. We often argue with our parents. Perhaps our parents also punish us. But we need to know that there is no parents in this world who want their children to have a hard life. Our parents will definitely do the best for the children, starting from waking up to school, preparing breakfast and lunch for us, driving us to school, picking us up at school, reminding us of schoolwork, to driving us to pleasant course, and all of that is done by our parents because they want the best for us. Is there anyone of you guys ever punished by parents? I think almost every child ever felt it. Maybe our attitude is too naughty or we do not want to work on our homework, but it's all for the sake of our future. Our parents try hard to earn the money so we can go to school properly. School fees are not cheap, not to mention the extra cost of the course. So for all of us, we should not be lazy to study. Our parents have tried hard to give us good things so that our life can be better. Respect them even if sometimes you get annoyed. Maybe our parents are too protective but it's all because they love us. Sometimes try to say I love you to your parents or maybe you can give a small handmade gift, maybe it could be a poem or a greeting card at the time of your father and mother's birthday. Give a congratulation or maybe give a gift as well. Gifts are not necessarily expensive Say thanks to parents is also a gift. Make our parents proud, study well, help them achieve something in study, or simply obey the parents' order. We only have one father and one mother. Therefore, love them. Respect good our parents. Don't disappoint them all. This is the end of my speech today. I hope we all can make our parents proud. Finally, I apologize if there is any mistakes. Thank you for your attention. Wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.